on Sway in the Morning. Bang your head, break the drumsticks. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Ah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Beat rock on the beats one time. What, what, what? You don't stop. Get yeah. on to the break of dawn. Old uh, school and don't go. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Beat rock on huh. the beat one time. Yeah, yeah. Sweat, sway in the morning. Morning, morning. Sway in the morning. Sway in the morning. Uh, uh, Chocolate uh, boy wonder on the beat. What? Uh, uh, sway in the mornings. Say what? Sway in the evening. Oh, say what? No, sway in the morning. Yeah. Pete Rock on the beat one time. Give one it up time. for Pete Rock. Hey, 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 peace, hey, peace. Hey, hey, hey. We just did an instrumental right there, Rich. Hello. You saw what I was doing. I right. saw. I saw. <laughs> Listen, somebody you was go, grooving. <laughs> you was grooving, bro. Yo, that's that shit. Somebody will hear that sample it. Bong, bong, bong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they, don't, just, they don't know what that's like. They don't know what that's like, They don't know what that sample is unless. They're ahead, and you're a musician, and you're a music lover, and you just know your stuff. You just know your stuff, man. You Pete, Pete saying? Rock is here, man. I could go over his accolades, which we'll get into. Mm-hmm. Um, Pete, what, what's what, up? What, 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 how you doing, man? Pete Rock, I'm, I'm man. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling, man. I, I, we bumped into <laughs> each other in Midtown Friday, yeah. Rich, yeah. and it, yeah. it was Atheon, myself, yeah. Pete Rock. Who else? Who else was uh, uh, uh Two of the homies. The homies. Uh, Daniel was with them. Yeah. And uh, and we were tripping off after you walked away. Mm-hmm. Like, man, that was motherfucking Pete Rock. <laughs> yeah, you crazy. You crazy. <laughs> me and Avion had about twenty minutes. Like, oh, you made my me God. sway. You yeah, made no, me. Oh, man, no, me no, man. <laughs> you made you made you. Uh, Pete Rock got a new uh, project uh, called Return of the SB Twelve Hundred. Yes. And I and I and I thought that was interesting mm-hmm. because a lot of folks. May not know what the SB twelve hundred is. Yeah, it's a dream machine, and, and, and it's important in our evolution as hip hop musicians. Yeah. Talk the, about the SB twelve hundred is an uh, infamous drum machine from like late eighties, early nineties that came out, and then you had the twelve mm-hmm. that came out before that. That was like in the eighties with mm-hmm. with all the other drum machines that was the present. Hunt. You know the eight hundred eight, nine hundred nine, sequential, DX, Oberheim. You know, yeah. we talking like musical stuff. I mean, equipment, uh-huh. nerd shit. But, you know, that's this one. This drum machine was like the one that stuck to me. That stuck to you, but a lot of other people, too. Yeah, yeah, of uh, course. Mantronics. Yep, um, yep. We can name a list of folks that use the SB12. What mm-hmm. was it about the SB1200, though, different from the SB12? Was it the amount of sample time? I, th- I think so, and it did, it did a little more. You know, you, you could gate. You know, I figured out how to gate snares and, and kicks in, in there. Uh-huh. You know, and, and the then, floppy disk. Yeah, and then you got floppies now that you showed me a place where you can get them joints fixed. I'm like, yo, man. Yeah, they had a floppy disk that you would put. Yeah, yeah. So they, the 12 oh, had no disk. Radio the Shack. Had you can go to Radio Shack and, you, you know, get you a box of discs. And the floppy disk was used for? Oh, to save your music. Yeah. Save your music on there. So... No, no thumb drives. No, 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 no. <laughs> None of that stuff. But the the twelve did have an external um, hard drive. Uh huh. You know, it didn't have to. You know, you pop the disc in. Who else you know that from our from our era was using the SB twelve hundred? Everybody. Yeah. Every single producer. I know. Like Premier. <laughs> Primo. Well, I think Primo in the beginning, but uh-huh. then he was like, you know, on the MP sixty. Okay, the MP60. MPC60. MPC60, yeah. yeah. MPC60. What's the difference between those, in your opinion, why you didn't go to the MPC60? Uh, I don't know. It's just, you know, everyone's comfortable with, with their piece of machinery. Uh-huh. You know, pick and choose your, your weapons. And, you know, that's what we're doing out here, man. Switch that beat up for me, old Q. We're playing songs, instrumentals from the return of the SB1200. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's take a listen to this. Pete Rock is here. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the beat junkies too. My man J Rock. J Rock, what up, J Rock? Uh, Word up. J Rock, what up, J Rock? Uh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. J Rock. Uh-huh. 
Rock is here, 888-742-3345. You want to talk to him. One of the things I, 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 that stood out about this new project that he has, Return of the SB1200, is the vinyl that you put together um, as well. And you look at the artwork, and I said this to you the other day on the streets, man, this artwork is incredible. And it turns out that uh, Sanford Green, yep, Sanford Green, <laughs> yep. who is um, – an illustrator, graphic mm-hmm. designer, mm-hmm. artist mm-hmm. Um, that works with Marvel. Yes, um, and and did I know he did? They Marvel did the the variant, the hip hop variant series yep. where they took hip hop album covers yep. and made them into comic book covers. As Mech and the Soul Brother mm-hmm. was uh, the Hawkeye comic book. Yep. It was yeah, Peach Mentals, all of that. They uh, they they actually are giving back. You know. You know, or appreciating, you know, the the inspiration they gave us mm-hmm. as, as kids. You know, what I'm saying, reading these books and wanting to be hero like type figures. Mm-hmm. So it came full circle for you then. Yeah. Like all the comic book characters that inspired us to get into hip hop mm-hmm. and many uh, what we do in hip hop yep. now is being inspired by what we do in hip hop. Exactly. <laughs> what is he like, Sanford Green? Man, did you? Um, talk- he's a cool dude, man. He's, yeah. uh, uh, this was always a dream of mine, and you know, I. I always liked his work, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to see if I can reach out to this cat and see. You know, because I always pictured this in my head. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I want you to do this, 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 and this. How, how important is the artwork to the music? It's very important. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's environmental because it's like, you know, it's what's happening. If you look at the picture and you could, you know, visualize today's society. You got a police officer. You got people protesting on this. Mm-hmm. I see a black, a BLM, Black Lives Matter mm-hmm. sign in their mm-hmm. hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see a hate sign, mm-hmm. school funding signs mm-hmm. in their hand. Mm-hmm. Um, this is interesting. I see you yeah. on the SB twelve hundred, yeah. and it's just like a riot happening behind you yeah. with a police officer with a gun pointing at the protesters. Yep, madness, madness. Yeah, madness in America. And they got on mag hats. Yep. That that was your vision, or. Uh, um, Sort of, yep. Okay. Yep. Was, I gave him the actual um, idea uh-huh. of, of of the scene that I wanted. Uh-huh. And then, you know, they add on to the idea once they get, you know, find the actual niche in what they're going to do. P-Rock, keep that voice, man. It's like he about to spit some bars or something. Because <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen right there. Listen, I want to know if we could do something real quick, Pete, because you have one mm-hmm. of the most iconic voices mm-hmm. in hip-hop, you know, probably Thank outside you. of like Luke or Puffy with the ad-libs and everything else. And we actually had Luke come up here and do something. Mm-hmm. He he gave us some ad-libs over uh, a track that you usually wouldn't hear him over because he, mm-hmm. he thought you could hear it. If you hear his voice on something, you're going to automatically party. I feel like <laughs> if we throw something on that maybe you could uh, just say some ad-libs over, we can okay. make it a Pete Rock track. That people might not think about. What do you think? We try? Well, let me hear the beat, man. P Rock is don't play, here. Don't play with me. 888 right, 7 <laughs> okay, We'll go through a couple. We'll see if we can do this. Sway the morning, shade four five. Chocolate boy wonder. One, two, three, four, five. What? Everybody in the car, so come on, let's ride to hey. the liquor store around the corner. The boys say they want some gin and juice, but I really don't want Say what? All right, let's try another one. Here. I like that. All right, that we like that. Is that country hip hop. <laughs> let's go, girls. Oh, hey, come on, come, come on. Ow. Hey, I like that one too. Okay, let's try this one. one. Oh, oh, hey, hey, come on, let's go. <laughs> Alright. Let's do let's do Where's one the more. Where's the hip hop at? Man? One more. Come okay. on, one more. Let's Let's try this. Here we go. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Come on. Woo wee! That's the Pete Rock ad lib right there, the famous one. Yeah. Yo, uh, Pete Rock right there. He could do it over everything, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, what what do you think has been your most famous ad lib? Um. Probably just this the hollering and hooting and you know, woo hey, and all that type of stuff. That's it? Okay. Yeah, that's it. That ain't, that ain't. Pete Rock, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Pete Rock, you got a lot of Sway. projects ahead of you too, man. I'm gonna yep. open up these phone lines yeah. and then we're gonna let's get a Pete. Uh a- anything you wanna hear, Pete? Um from your repertoire? From my repertoire, for me, you mean my 
anything. Rather, rather Sky Zoo, rather it's, oh. oh, you see where I'm going with oh. this? Okay, it could be a yay track. Oh. It could be anything you've done. You know what, man? Yo, how about Kendrick Lamar's album? Mm. Zulu Queen joint. Zulu Queen. Yeah, let's, that's let's the one that's paid the most recently. Yeah, let's, yeah. Get <laughs> get on let's get on in, on that one. Shout out to Kendrick, man. Oh, yeah. Complexion. P Rock's here. Talk to us. Complexion don't mean a thing. Zulu vibe. Yep. Zulu Queen. Feel good thing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on. That's right. Like Woo! Like yeah. Like uh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Complexion. <laughs> there it is. P Rock, man. Dope. One of the most celebrated producers to ever come out of this whole thing. Thank you, bro. Across the board. I'm not even going to genre you. You know what I'm saying? Just across the board, yeah. okay? Music. Return of the SB1200. These are beats from that were from 1990 to 1998. Yeah. Uh, unreleased, and uh, previously unreleased and unavailable for the first time. You could get these on vinyl. Mm-hmm. Scratches by J-Rock of the Beat Junkies. That's mm-hmm. the homie. Yep. Um, Shout out to J-Rock. What, what, so all of the beats on this, as current as they sound, you made in the 90s. Yeah, man. You this think is what they sound mean? current? Or you think, you know. Well, you don't think <laughs> this so? This is like, Golden Age sound. Well, because I think Golden Age sound is starting to be people pulling from that yeah, now yeah, again. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they, so they actually are. What yeah. they're trying to find is what you helped to architect. I have the key to, you baby. You have the key to. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> when you see a young YBN Corday or some of these younger artists yeah. that, are, that sound great over these sounds, yeah, man. Uh, are you eager to work with them? Yeah, heck yeah, yeah heck yeah. 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 Yep, can't you, wait. Yeah. yeah. You, it's just a matter of them liking something I do, you know. Uh-huh. That's, that's the only worry. Kendrick working with Kendrick doing that track. How was mm-hmm. that? He did he like it immediately? Or? Um I mean, I didn't actually do the track. I did scratches, the scratches and on I it. did okay. the hook okay. in, in there. And my man from uh Syra did that, I think. Uh-huh. And you know, I I, I love that beat. I yeah. wanted to do it, you know. I, I was happy he called me, you know, to do it. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Um man, I want to open up these phone lines, but Rich, you had a question? Yeah, so Part of what um, everyone gravitates to mm-hmm. for this type of sound mm-hmm. uh, has a lot to do with the filters from the SB1200. Mm-hmm. How important was that for you in, in creating all of these beats? Because we talk about the different drum machines and the, and the different sounds of them, yeah. but that SB1200. Um, you know what it is? Like when we learned how to filter records, <laughs> we we discovered bass lines like with no singing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's some music stuff. So we, we you know, with that, you know, a, ba- a beat pattern is is playing in my head. That's how producers think, you know what I'm saying? And we listen into the music, and we're like, all right, maybe maybe I can make a beat, you know, off of this right here. And that's how the ideas start, you know what I'm saying? And then we just start going in and, you know, being extra creative and, and you know, just trying to make something great. Pete, hey, if you could do um, a collab album with another producer, a young producer of today, who would you want to spend the most time with in the studio? Wow, producers. Hmm. It's so many, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot. Um, a lot of great ones. A lot of good guys. Um, young producers? Mm-hmm. Wow, let's see. You got Zaytoven. You got... Metro booming, you got His murder. Metro beats. booming. Okay. I know I've heard beats from him. Yeah, it's just the names I get. You yeah, know, I get a little lost with. But. Forty, who's up there with Drake? They right. created crap. Yeah, with their the sound. Drake producers. Jalil Trick. beats. Yeah. Jalil yeah. was dope. Jalil yeah. beats. Jalil beats. beats. Yep, and he's murder dope. beats. Yeah, yeah. He did the Bobby Schmurder and all of that yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mess with him. Okay, Pete Rock is here. Bizzle, have y'all ever done anything? You and Pete. Course. Talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we did. We actually did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, no, I know well, Pete I wanted to ask though, because there's by. so many producers <laughs> like listening to this show and that support mm-hmm. this show. Mm-hmm. But like everything that we hear and you sort of say is 
it kind of deals with patience yeah. because you said you had this music and then you waited so long to put it out. Yep. And then you think about Marvel and Sway and I were talking about when we were going to the premiere of the second season, we mm. bumped into you. Luke Cage. Walking in. Yeah, mm. the Luke Cage. Yep, I remember. Um, you being a fan of that and them calling you to do the music. Like, how patient are you from beginning to end in terms of creating a beat? Um. I, I think it's not about patience. I think it's about just getting at it. You know, I'm passionate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love doing it. I love Even it. if it's not coming out right. Because you said you got something in yeah, mind. Yeah. But if it's not there, do you go back and say, oh, let me just address this two well, days you, from now? You step back, walk away. How do you? How do I mean, you... artists are picky. So, you know, not everybody's <laughs> going to like everything you do. You yeah. Know what I'm but then there's a, you know, I have a slew of beats that they do like and pick. But. The ones that they don't use or don't get used and just sits there, I'm um, say so you know I'm put do something like this, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and I'm gonna keep doing it. Like there's so many beats I got like that, you know. But you know it, it's it's about you know how the music adapts to a person's anatomy. Mm -hmm. That's how I make music. So you never trash a beat, like you never just say this. Yeah. Is I oh, you do. I've okay. Many beats. I still, <laughs> you know, I mean, I've I've trashed many beats. I've 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 made dope beats and got the plug pulled on me. Like I had to remake beats that I made hot. Yeah, and yeah. Thought I would never get it back to you know how I had it mm -hmm, once mm -hmm. before. But I, I went through all of that with music. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm yeah. Little, a little weirdo when it comes to. That. <laughs> <laughs> are there are there any unreleased joints you have with you and have? Yeah. Yeah, heavy D. Yeah, it's cousin. Heavy D yeah. and the boys. Yeah, it's cousin. Yeah. Heck yeah. Would yeah. you ever release them? Yeah. Yep. Uh mm huh. -hmm. It's just um, you know, finding you know the right ones and saying hey, psh. and then there's I got a song. I got his very first demo actually on Aster Tate. Wow. wow. Damn. It's in my garage somewhere. I, Coming I gotta, over. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, and it was it was pretty dope. Um. Let me ask you uh, to Tracy and have this question about other producers. Mm -hmm. um, who are some of the producers? Like you work with Kanye. Mm -hmm. you, you you know you yeah. work. You, you know uh, ninth yeah. ninth one. Yeah, ninth one to Kanye uh, West. Yeah. Uh, what what did you learn? Like what did you experience working with ninth and Kanye? That's like made you go, huh? Okay, I see how they do their shit. Yeah, that's different. What I, did you adapt from them? It. You know what it was ninth. You know, seeing him do the computer beat making mm -hmm. like the fruity loops thing that that was different for me to see okay and to hear how his beats sound like very like you know hip-hop uh -huh. boom bap golden age and he's done it with a computer yeah you know what i'm saying versus what i do it with uh -huh. like beating on that machine you uh -huh. know what i'm saying like it's a big difference for me and then you know you know just seeing like Alchemist on the ASR, mm -hmm. you know, Lars Professor was, you know, he was an SP 1200 guy yeah. like myself and um, a couple other producers. The Illmatic producers were 1200 guys. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So everybody so you produced on Illmatic was 12. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 Lars Pro. Yeah. Ultra yeah. Magnetic, we had Said G. Said G. Said G. G. <laughs> that wow. guy is so historical <laughs> with the beat making. <laughs> Yo, is he one of the criminal minded? Yeah, and, psh, come on, man. And this SB12 gang was yeah, ridiculous. Man, yeah, easy so Mo B. What, what, easy Mo B. <laughs> oh, oh, no Mo one Mo could. Mo no Mo one Mo. could. You gotta speak on Easy Mo because yeah. Mo know, B I, got beat. I think, but between me and him, mm -hmm. it would be an awesome battle. Ooh. you know, of oh. of, 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 beats of beats between me and him on that SP. Mo B. Cause I've seen dick. some stuff that popped my eyes too. Let's, let's bring watch, it. Let's make watch, it happen. We should just do it. And just have it a celebration you battle. Know what I'm saying. No okay. Doubt. Let's no make doubt. it happen. Yeah. Easy Mo B. Fun. Rich, can you reach out to? Yeah, I call Mo B. Okay, I talk to Mo all the time. Talk yeah. to him. Tell yeah. him to come yeah. up. He let's does do the party. He does solo in the home. We can do a demonstration. DB, go ahead. Yeah, Pete, I'm a big collector of records, and I know you put this album out on Record Store Day, which is a big release day for limited edition reprints, things like that. And so I'm curious because you mentioned having Heavy D's demo tape. What other limited edition stuff that you have in your collection in Arsenal that like you know people would be salivating over I know you got some shit Pete. nah let me stop yeah. um, <laughs> I got I got a, I got some stuff I got old extra P joints old CL joints old, old bunch of stuff whole bunch of 
just you know, jewels and gems. Even I was listening to a Styles P joint I did that never that I never used. Nas. Nice. Mm, just a remix. Public Enemy. Yeah. No public enemy. He did a lot of PE. I did a lot of PE. I did a couple of remixes. Smoke what? Smoke, smoke, yeah. smoke Dizzer? Yes. Yeah, you got some. You got some lot of Smoke yeah, Dizzer stuff. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck okay. Heck so who taught you how to work the SP? Because I'm sitting. Eddie here, F. DJ Eddie F. Eddie yeah. F. Taught you. Yeah. Because yeah, I'm sitting here thinking because this is you can't go to YouTube in this era <laughs> to learn how to work. And I remember. But you could go get samples. You could go get samples. And I remember being at KRS when he mentioned Criminal Mind. I remember being at his house mm. when he gave his brother Kenny Parker his old. SB 1200 mm. uh. and Kenny was holding that shit on the train like it was the holy grail it was. and he was just like yo, yo. it is the it holy is. grail <laughs> he was just like, and Chris said they kept doom 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 nah. they would pop out the thing write something on a piece of masking tape put it back it was the floppy disk and I'm yeah. like wow so many of y'all taught each other how to yep. you know to form this music yep. that we all know and love today yep I sat and watched Molly you know, mm-hmm. you know, would have, you know what I'm saying? What have you did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was in, in them sessions of Juice Crew. All Marley right. Mall. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Well, you was in the Juice Crew sessions? I mean, I was there listening to, you know, produce stuff. Right. Like what songs? Marley's, like, do you remember? Um, Symphony. The Symphony, you were there when he did the I Symphony? I wasn't there. Oh, I wasn't oh, there. Oh, okay. But I've heard, like, you know, various, you know, Kane records that never came out. Like, uh huh. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn, Marley, Marley. It's, not, it's nah, crazy. It's nah. like they all taught each other. It's amazing. Yeah. Like when you do the backstory yeah. to the all small of this. Group. Yeah, the small group. I considered Marley the Jay Dilla of the eighties, like the soul uh-huh. brother number one uh-huh. of the eighties. Marley Marl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what, what about Mark the Forty Five King? And, pff, come, on, come on, bro. come on. Man. Shout out to Forty Five King because he don't get talked about enough. He we had him he up don't. here. That's why we do. I always throw his name I, out. I, there. I took that whole horn yeah. game, like you know, like okay. his whole blue, blueprint for the horn. So they reminisce was inspired by mm, you oh, know oh, just oh. producers like mm-hmm. Howie T, Forty Five King, Molly. They T. were using horns and mm-hmm. stuff. Howie T, and, and all I wanted to do was extend it. You know what I'm saying? Just extend the horn play. Uh huh. In my beats, you know what I'm saying. Do you think Herbie Lovebug get enough respect as a oh, producer? Oh man, nah. But you know what? He he's made a lot of classic songs. Yeah. You know, a lot of good hip hop in the '80s. Uh huh. You know, I rem- I remember when people used to say he was, you know, a biter or whatever. Like he used to, you know, listen to stuff Molly did and just do the same thing but with a different sample or something like that uh-huh, but uh-huh. we don't own none of these samples we sample <laughs> yeah <laughs> come so on man we, Facts. It, it ain't my beat you know it's just how you do it you know what i'm saying it's my way of how i did it uh-huh that's what's can yours you, can you top it there you go <laughs> you, know you can't duplicate that you, and, you know it's interesting because when we talk about the beats and samples i know you worked on an anonymous nobody yeah, project yeah. with de la soul yeah Nothing, your relationship with de la soul yep. throughout the years and yep. they were talking about 30 years of three feet high and rising mm-hmm. and they never received any residuals <sighs> the record company blamed oh, it on snap. the samples well, it was too many samples. And That's they a great excuse just, to rob someone. Right? Mm. Like, And then we're like, well, why didn't you clear the samples over the years when you decided to put out the music? Because you could easily clear samples. You, you yeah. hire people. You, they have companies now where, uh-huh. you know, you're taking yeah. care of business, man. Uh-huh. So the first so, few albums are not getting any residual because of the samples. You know, people get scared, you know, because it's, it's a part of hip-hop, uh, a creative part of hip-hop that's always been around uh-huh. people still doing it even in the new you know yeah. world yeah they they still sound. yeah man so let me ask you this from the beginning when was the first time you actually experienced hip-hop 76 77 and where were you uh, my pop's basement wow <laughs> playing uh music and he put on this fat back band record called king tim the third king tim the third and that's how i learned about you know, hip hop then Sugar Hill Gang and all that came out. King Tim the Third. Remember? You remember yeah, oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's interesting. It say, some people say it was one of the first rappers. Yeah. One of the first ones. Yeah. Yeah. So he's from an uh, area in the uh, Mount Vernon, which is just above the Bronx, and it's like a a, a brother of the Bronx. Uh-huh. Right, right next door. Right bro. next door, and people would walk from Mount Vernon to the Bronx yep. and back and forth. So that's why I was curious to know when you first really experienced. Let me hear this. this. White Plains Road. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Come on, girl, let's do the rock. Slam dunk, do the jerk. <laughs> Let me see your body work. We got Pete Rock in here. Steven's on the line from North Carolina. What up, uh, Steven? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's blessed to hear from all of you. I listen to y'all every time my, my girlfriend got the day off. I always listen to y'all every chance I got because she's the only one that got serious. Okay. Pete Rock is legendary to hear from you. Peace. Um, I just want to ask you something. I was uh, the first time I ever heard a track and I knew it was you was that uh, that track, The Joy, with. Uh, Kanye and Jay Z on the bonus deluxe album no, of uh, Watch the Throne. No doubt, no doubt. And uh, like once I heard that song, everything in it was sonically perfect. The Thank lyrics you. went to match with it. And I just want to know from your side of view, what was it like making a, a song that that would be legendary, but not really on a mainstream level like that? Because I feel like it doesn't get as much respect as it deserves. Well, you, you got Kanye West, you know what I'm saying? And he, when he, you know, hit the scene, you know, it was like, he he came with a bunch of, you know, dope, you know, like dope rappers and stuff like that. And then when once you, you know, lay the groundwork for who you are as a producer, it's easy to, you know, to, well, maybe not that easy, but <laughs> <laughs> certain artists come to the table, you know, and want to rap on your beats, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, like this this song right here was was surprising to me when I heard Jay Z rap rapping on it because you know I only heard Kanye's verse, but then you know I, you know Young Guru you know called me up and was like, "Yo, listen to this," and I was driving and I pulled over, you know, and it was Jay rapping, but I couldn't quite make it out. And then I was like, "Yo, who that?" And he was like, "Yo, yo, yo, you you can't hear," and I was like. <laughs> And I was like, nah. He was like, yo, listen. And then he rewinded it again and played the verse. And then wow. when he said my name, I was like, I screamed. Wow. Let's take a look at the morning. Oh, you skipped the part, buddy. You gotta bring it back, man. There you go. Bring it back some more. A little bit. A little bit. Oh. Boom. That's it. <laughs> yeah, I flipped out. Because this is actually his first time rhyming on one of your tracks. Yeah. Wow. This is Jay Z's first time rhyming on your yep. track. Yep. 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 And it's dope. <laughs> it's dope. You know what I'm saying? It killed him. Killed him. Yeah, man, that's that's. You would think that you and Jay would have done something prior. We but was trying, yeah. You know, like through, throughout the years, we would bump heads, you know. But you know, you know how our paths and journeys yeah. get a little, you know, get a little sh- sh- convoluted sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You here, he there, <laughs> yeah, then yeah, you yeah, there, yeah, he yeah, here. Exactly. And then, you but know. one time, I don't know if you remember this club on Fifty Sixth Street. I was just chilling in the club. Somewhere in the corner, and I get a tap on my shoulder. I turn around, it's, it's Jay, <laughs> and then he's like, "Yo, what up, Pete?" And then we just, you know, gave each other a pound. I kept and, it moving. Yeah. Did you question your um, your wherewithal that Jay Z could sneak up on you and tap you on your shoulder? You were, <laughs> like you losing it, Pete. You losing it, baby. If Jay can sneak yep. up on you, man, I, you know what I'm saying? We was just can, in the club, you're comfortable, man. Just, yeah. I, I, hey, Stephen, good question. You're a citizen. It's way in the morning. All right. Hey, uh, Ty is in Maryland. What up, Ty? Hey, Ty. Hey, good morning, everybody. What you want to say hey. real quick? Go ahead. Peace. Hey, I wanted to say, Pete Rock, thank you for being you and being a part of hip hop. You were the first celebrity I ever met and shook hands with. I used to do uh, parties down here in D.C. Oh, man. With uh, Opal Productions, and we brought you down many times between yep. 94 and 95. Yep, I remember. And I just want to say thank you to you, Heather B., and Steph Lover for making the funniest night of my life. Oh, when wow. What happened? Yeah, remember you remember that, that Heather? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's done, you? He turned on the light bulb. Tell, yeah, tell, tell Ty, up, what happened? Tell him what happened. Nah, come on, no, 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 tell him what happened. Hold on, Ty, tell him what happened, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh. So it started off, my boy Diamond brought Pete Rock to the radio station, and Diamond used to hang out there when he shouldn't be. So mm. Steph Lover came in and was like, all oh, y'all niggas need to get out, blah, blah, blah. And so he tried to play Steph Lover. I was like, yo, we got Pete here. Why are you tripping? 
So Steph was, you know, feeling salty. Pete gave a salty interview that night. And so when we got to the club, it was a club quickly, downtown D.C. Yep. Uh, Steph Lover was talking trash the whole night. He's like, yo, Diamond, when I see you, I'm going to see you. So Steph Lover, it had to be a coming down the stairs. Oh, Me, no. Diamond, and Omar X are walking up the stairs. And Steph Lover's like, Diamond, <sighs> Spit oh. on his face, and when he wiped his face, what? he jumped off the steps with the jab. Heather B didn't know what was going on and just started throwing bowls. <laughs> you know, me and Omar F just stayed against the wall like, yo, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> yo, that's my man, <laughs> Omar. <laughs> Omar. Shout out to Omar. Thank Omar. you, yo, Stole Thank you for being you. You was always humble. Oh, oh, you oh, always was nice to us. Thank you, bro. And then that night right there is just sticking my head. <laughs> yeah. You have to beat yeah. up your man. No, huh? that's not, that's not. What's his name on the phone? Oh, Todd, Todd, no, Todd can attest. I wasn't, man. I wasn't, taste of that I wasn't fighting nobody. I was making sure I wasn't getting hit by nobody. Like I ain't had <laughs> right, no right, beef right, with nobody. Right, me, right. we, yeah. me, old Pete. Yeah. No, we was all partying, was chilling, and was that was the chocolate tie era. I'm trying to smoke. I'm not thinking about nobody. But then <laughs> had to beat up his man, yo. No, I, 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 I did not. <laughs> Steph beat up. Who, whoever, I wasn't beating up nobody. I was trying not to get hit. So if you in my way and you looking like you coming at me, I'm swinging. Fuck yeah, that. Steph, I'm not Steph even Steph was home. on it that, that she night. Was on it. She was on it. Yo, Ty, man, thanks for sharing was, that story, man. Ty, did I hit anybody, Ty? Tell the truth. No, you was just in the, you was just in the wind down the steps. Yeah. Steph Lover jumped down the steps yeah. and had him in the corner. I mean, Yo. we probably was holding you. We ain't gonna let nobody hit you anyway, right? Right. No, I, nope. it was nah. coming nope. from everywhere. That, mm. that was a cra- wow. Mm. Wow. <laughs> yep. Hey, Ty, you're a citizen, man. So <laughs> <laughs> now you know why Heather's Big here. Big Ty told All a story. Snitching. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's up. Heather, I didn't hit nobody. I didn't hit nobody. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't fighting nobody. I was making sure I didn't get doing hit. Doing the block thing, right? right. Like the who 52 is? blocks. All right. G one is in Phoenix. Go ahead, G. What you want to say? Shout out to Omar. G, what you want to say? What's going on? What's What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking? Um, legendary Pete Rock, man. Peace. Honor to speak to you, brother. Peace, peace, bro. Um, man, I'm I'm in Phoenix by way of Chicago, Illinois. Nice. I'm in my I'm in my early thirties. That's what's up. Um, I called a couple of weeks ago when y'all was talking about the whole Cardi B thing, but we'll get into that later. Mm. Pete, yes. I'm a producer. I'm yep. a songwriter. Yeah. Um, I can't honestly like sit up here and say that. I grew up on you necessarily, mm-hmm. but because my brothers are in their forties, mm-hmm. you understand what I grew up no under. Doubt, no doubt. So, Kat, so I would say there's two classes of producers. You got the greats. Now, yep. when I came up and I started in this beat shit, Pharrell, <laughs> Chad, Timberland, yep. uh, Just Blaze, yep. Yay, obviously because yep. I'm from the crib. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, those guys are the greats. But then the gods would be you, mm-hmm. Primo, mm-hmm. Easy Mo B. You know what I'm saying? That that's a whole nother class. I can RZA, say I got favorite Dr. Records. Dre, yeah, RZA, Dr. Dre, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Dre, definitely. I could say uh, Dilla, definitely Dilla came in, in with your era. You know what I'm saying? Within yeah. the 30s, yeah. you know, 30 mm-hmm. year old. Man, I I appreciate I appreciate that groundwork that you laid for for people like me to you know to pick up their drum machines or their keyboard workstations no or their software and and and, and do their damn thing. I will say one of my favorite records from you. Mm-hmm. I believe it was called "Shut It Down." It was on the Busta Rhymes Genesis album. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. My yep. God. Genesis. That Genesis. Record Genesis. I had brand new. On Shout out to Bus. Out. Bus. 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 Hey, hey, G One. Thanks for your call, man. I want I want you to pick up his project too. Pete Rock, Return of the SB 1200. Yep. And if y'all want to talk with Pete, give us a call. How can they reach you on social, Pete? Real Pete Rock, you know, um, IG, at Pete Rock on Twitter, and uh, same for Facebook. We got some more A&R room up next. Sway in the morning, Shade 4-5. <laughs>